Are you wondering if you can make pretty and colorful backgrounds that look like they are jelly printed but you don't have a jelly plate like me? Then watch the full video to see how to do this. Welcome to my channel, my name is Ilona and I like to do all my crafting on a low budget. So I always try out ways to get the job done with what I can find around my house. In this case I tried jelly printing with a mouse, mouse mat and mine has a like a plastic top coat. So you see me working on a background that I just finished using this technique. And this is going to be a page for a challenge. And I just start stenciling on it. This is the second stencil I am using. And after stenciling I also use some stamps. And of course you can decorate your page however you like, with whatever you like. This was just my first try. And I have a few different ways how I put on the paint, which I will explain later on in the video. So I carefully start rolling my paints on my mouse mat and I do that by just putting drops at first on a piece of craft sheet that's beside my mat and from there I roll it. So sometimes I put it first on my craft sheet and sometimes I just put it directly onto my mouse mat and start rolling. And I'm not really sure what works the best, it seems kind of that it varies which paint I use. I'm starting out with just one paper, but I soon realized that that's not the best way to handle this. So I cut more pieces of paper that fit on my mouse mat. So I have some more papers to work on equally because they need to dry a little in between. So I'm pushing my paper onto the rolled paint and really rubbing to get the paint on my paper. Of course with a normal jelly print you can get ghost prints and sort of that sort of stuff and I love that but uh, that did not work on my mouse mat that well. So I keep rolling different paints and using different sheets of paper and seeing where I need some color and sometimes I roll off my roller directly on the, pa on the paper. And in the end, to get all my papers completely covered, I just roll on the paints directly with my... Um, so I first put the paint on the craft sheet, then roll it, and then I roll it off on my paper. And here you see me making the paper that I used for this beautiful background that you saw in the beginning, where I only used three stamps on. So about the jelly printing, hmm, so far I'm not really satisfied with how it looks. I like the, the direct rolling on my papers better. 
But hey, this is only the first try, so maybe I need to practice some more. So my three ways to get these pretty background papers. One is to put the paint directly onto my mouse mat, rolling it out and then pressing my paper on it. The second way is to put my paint on a craft sheet, roll it out and then put a thin layer of paint onto my paper. In my case it gave a slight different effect if I put my paint directly onto my mouse mat and then start rolling over it or if I would put it beside me on the craft, craft sheet and roll it out first before I added it to my mouse mat. But either way it gives a different effect. So it was fun experimenting and trying things out. And also, I'm not really used to work with a lot of colors and I was not really sure about myself which colors went together. But I think that's just a process of trying and failing, <laughs> probably. And also, in the end, if you have, you have a background that you really do not like that much, if you go over it with light colors of paint or other kinds of colors of paint, it, it looks kind of really different again. So keep trying and never give up. You can always use your scraps to tear them up and use them for different things in your art journals. So nothing goes to waste. So have fun experimenting yourself either with a mouse mat or just by rolling the paint from a craft sheet onto your paper because that gives a wonderful effect as well. Have fun you guys and thanks for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye bye! <laughs>